and plus plus. We have the best platformers uh, that I've played in recent memory, apart from like you know, the Nintendo and Mario games. But uh, yeah, I've already put in so much time on this game and have just gotten stuck kind of on the later levels here. Um, so we're going to skip those for now, and we've been revisiting this and, and playing some uh, some of the legacy levels. So uh, we'll get into some of that for y'all tonight. And, uh, yeah. The soundtrack, too, for this game is just insane. Godlike speed, dexterity, jumping power, and reflexes are all the result of an amazingly fast metabolism. Tragically, so is your natural lifetime of 1.5 minutes. Like all ninjas, you have, un you have an unquenchable thirst for gold, a natural propensity for exploring rooms infested by increasingly lethal ninja killing robots, and a devout belief in N. The way of the ninja is a highly advanced system of spiritual, cognitive, and physical training. It emphasizes pacifism. And you need to traverse a series of black runes before the end of your lifetime, a feat known as beating an episode. In accordance with the teachings of N, it is your profound hope that one day you will develop the skill, intelligence, and inexplicable ability to reincarnate necessary to achieve mastery of all episodes. Plus, plus. This game fucks. Let me tell you what. Baka there. This is literally all about like not in these levels right now but as it gets more and more difficult there's a bunch of obstacles and things that you Radio have to avoid not like the bombs and traps that you see here, but there will be like active missiles and like moving electric traps and so on and so forth and a lot of them are based on cycles and so you're just timing out like it gets so insanely complex, the amount of, like, things that you have to keep top of mind as far as cycles go in this game. That's why I haven't, like, started playing the levels that I actually have right now. Like, you Radio Torch 
Colors, headband colors, different headbands. I only have two. I don't know how you can unlock all those. Oh! 
again. Oh, okay. Ooh, yes, let's go. Now we just keep it simple. Separate platform. And we set the platform in. Understanding momentum and maintaining it and preserving it, and going through levels as quickly as possible. The more you avoid, you know, dealing with shit like this, the better you get. It's a really easy one. It's so cool because like, you can design a level and just be uh, like, really creative and expressive and make something that looks wonky, or you could make something that's like insanely challenging. so simple. The soundtrack is so fucking good. But it just gets to be so goddamn challenging. It's some of the most zen and like equally difficult, just kind of bullshit, fun, really challenging games that I've played. Absolutely fucking good. But 
that. Like, I would never think to do that. This and all, there's so many, like, there's so many just, ooh, insanely challenging stages in this game. And they'll just freeze through it. It blows my mind. Like, this is easy. This is, this is really nothing. And, like, high key, in a funky way, something like this will, I think, help you improve in fighting games, because it's all about, like, decision making, timing, routing, physics, Pac Man, literally. It's literally just like D-pad and movement. Uh, and jump. Are you mashing jumps to float upwards again? Yeah, so you, I mean, you have like different levels of jumps. You can uh, hold your jump, you go higher. Like just the more you hold the button, the higher you go. But that's literally it. What's this game called? It's called N plus plus. It's on like pretty much every platform too. I play this a lot on um, Switch. This looks yeah, like so. something a lot of fun to play yeah. portably. Oh god, back. yeah. Ever since I got a Steam Deck, I haven't really been messing. months before the OLED came out. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna I don't see the point. Like I don't I don't really need you know what I mean? Like as much as cool as it would be, I, I don't I really don't need it. Right, like are you playing really high resolution games or, or No, no, like I, I don't care about graphics on I play I have emulators and sold them. Like, I use it to test stuff in fighting games when I'm not home, stuff like that. Do you have any games going on that? I do, I do. It doesn't run perfectly. 
It runs at like uh, mid 50 frames a second. But you could like hop in training mode and not. Yeah, I would. Have I wouldn't play time. online or. Yeah, I wouldn't play against other people on the floor. But I use it for like to test things in training mode to see if certain things work. Right. Alright, well fuck this game. Let's I'll jump on uh I'll jump on it. Hey. Yeah, so I was playing in a crazy Dominican stream earlier. We, yeah, yeah. we had a big King of the Hill going. And uh he's he's good, man. He's a good player. He started playing again uh recently and his Ash is really good. And uh we had like a King of the Hill going and we were uh both running it for a while, and then uh, one of the guys in there was playing like a lot of different characters and picked Kenshi, which just like kind of like mopped up the whole room with Kenshi. Yeah. But I realized how I should be playing the matchup. I realized how bad Kenshi is when he doesn't have Sento out. And um, I think uh, definitely I could handle that character no problem in the future. Uh, yeah, Scorpion definitely does well against. Uh, what cameo were you using? Were you using Pharaoh or someone else? No, no, I was using. I was. I only got. I only got to play two games against them. I was, but I used uh, the first game. I was playing Kung Lao, and then the second playing game, I played uh, Sector. Mm -hmm. But Kung I think Lao Sector would be just fine against me. Kung Lao obliterates Sento. You just throw that shit down and. GGs, you can the thing is, way. the thing is, they get Sento out when I get knocked down, and then I never get out of it from there. I don't have a chance to really do anything. I'm just blocking Mixty, and I'm not sure what to do to get out of it. Mm. Because, um, like, I'll block Mix for like ten seconds straight, and then get hit by the net last one, and they'll recharge it when I get knocked down or whatever. They'll do the little pray thing. Yeah, at but that point it's just like I need, keep away. Yeah, but that's once I get locked into it though, and I'm in he's on one side of me and uh Sento's on the other side. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to get to the other side of the screen. Mm. That's where you could use uh so the Scorpion cameo is actually really good to just pull you away. Yeah, the three hits of armor. Yeah. 